All right, guys, what's going on? CJ here from Appenzeller Training Systems, coming at you guys Nutrition Tip Wednesday. And today we are gonna be making what we like to call our healthy chicken fingers. Now I know chicken fingers are a staple in just about every American household diet, but what I wanna do is look to improve those chicken fingers from the standpoint of making them a little bit healthier for you and a little bit of a better option for you to be including in your diet week in and week out. So here's what we need to make our healthy chicken fingers. Number one, we're gonna need some chicken. I have these sliced up into like kind of finger lengths. Then we're gonna need our almond flour. This is gonna be our breading. It's a little bit better than some of that store-bought stuff, loaded with MSG and tons of extra salt. Almond flour is gonna be a big bang for your buck as far as number one, we're gonna get a healthy fat source. Number two, it's beating out all of those store-bought MSG-loaded, salt-loaded batterings. First things first, I have my egg dip. That is gonna be the base for our chicken fingers. Number two, we're gonna take the almond flour here. I'm gonna pour this into its own bowl. Once I have my almond flour in a bowl and my egg dip ready to go, it's a really simple, simple process from here. All we're gonna do is we'll take one piece of chicken at a time, we'll dip into our egg dip, we'll run it around in our almond flour or almond meal, make sure we get a good coating of flour and meal, and then from there we're just gonna take it and pop it on our pan. We're gonna preheat our oven to 400 degrees. Then all we're gonna do is throw the chicken and the tin foil tray into the oven and cook for between 22 and 25 minutes. I'd say around 20 minutes. Make sure you check on it, see where it's at. Pretty good idea to use a meat thermometer if you're not familiar with cooking chicken too often. 22 to 25 minutes, depending on your oven, you'll be ready to rock and roll. You'll have a much healthier solution for chicken tenders. Now, here's the big benefit of having chicken tenders this way versus the store-bought seasonings, the store-bought stuffing, the store-bought breadcrumbs and things of that nature. Those things are usually loaded with salt, loaded with MSG, and sometimes even loaded with sugar. I wanna stay away from about all that stuff, guys. My rule of thumb is if it has more than three ingredients in it, you probably shouldn't be eating it most of the time. Now, with the almond flour, we also get a big bang for our buck. Not only do we not have any added MSG, any added salt, any added nonsense, but we're also getting a healthy fat source each and every time we eat a meal like this. Remember, with our 3x3, 5x9, and all of the habit changes that we work on here at Appen's Our Training Systems, our goal is to get more protein in, some healthy fats with those proteins, some vegetables, and carbohydrates when they're warranted. Now we're killing two birds with one stone by putting a healthy fat right on top of a lean protein source. We're upgrading your chicken tenders. We're making a healthy dinner that the whole family will love. So there it is, guys. Get to work. You got your healthy chicken fingers. Start whipping them up. Tell me what you think. You can drop a comment below or email me. Talk to you soon. Peace.